popping y'all so we're about to hop into this video by chills this is 10 scary videos that'll give you the heebie-jeebies so without further ado y'all let's hop straight into this video it's the youtuber rex travolta for somehow obtaining this cry out loud creepy cctv footage of a haunted driving school in puchong a man goes into the building late at night to wait for his girlfriend for a late night meetup Little does he know tonight's date is about to get cancelled for paranormal reasons. The computer <laughs> monitor like somehow that? turns on at the same time, and when he checks the wiring underneath, the screens briefly flash in unison. He runs out of there scared out of his mind, and that's when a ghost decides its work is done, as it shuts the door and pulls up a chair. The video looks paranormal at first, but I think it could be really good. Stop motion photography that you don't notice because the camera's been skipping frames the whole time. And as for the monitors, maybe the computers were already on and had some kind of screensaver on a timer to make it look like they went on at once. A man comes home to find a woman he's never seen before this in his living so room. Monotone. She runs out the door and he checks his home security system this is what she was caught doing picking a lock and testing the door while holding out a purse so as to look more natural soon other neighbors check their cameras and find evidence of her doing the same thing her wide eyes look really creepy like she's not in control of herself and so would do almost tweaking. anything out of desperation definitely not someone you'd want in your house at random. The fact that she would return to the same street day after day fills them with dread wondering if they'll be targeted next. As far as I was able to tell, police in Denver, Colorado have yet to identify this woman. So take a look at her face and let's see if we can provide them with any assistance. A while back, Any I analyzed assistance. a viral video of an unknown creature caught on camera in China. People were saying it was a sickly bear, but villagers insisted it was a mythological spirit known as a water ghost. That one was in captivity, but since then another one's been found running loose in the wild, this time in Malaysia. The way it crawls is not like a bear, but maybe it is sick with mange like they say. Of particular interest <laughs> is where the supposed monotone. bear chooses to go. Remember, villagers in China say this is a water ghost, and then... It slips into the water. Don't get me wrong, I definitely think this is just a bear with mange trying to swim away from the camera, but I'm no expert and the villagers are the ones who live there and saw it with their own eyes. The point is no one knows for certain, so I'm not going to act like I do. What do you think this is? A redditor named Bunny Toes posted a really bizarre video on the Chills Narrator subreddit that's worth further analysis. She says she was deleting random videos taken by her young grandkids when she came across this strange moment in her old house, which she has since moved directly because of what you're about to see. Her grandchild innocently passes over a shadow figure standing at the foot of her bed. Bunny Toast says this happened a day before her mother-in-law's birthday, who used to live with them for six years and recently passed. She has no doubt that this is her mother-in-law visiting her from the other side. This could be a real ghost sighting, but you do see Bunny Toast at the beginning of this video, so it might have been her walking away. I guess I'm willing to believe her because most people would recognize themselves on camera and the uploader is adamant that the shadow figure in the video is simply not her. There's a scary haunted tunnel in Pakistan that MMTV wants to go exploring to see what creepy things he can find inside. Exploring a haunted tunnel in the desert at night by yourself, what can go wrong? Apparently a lot. ये देखिए ये सारा वीराना है और दूर पहाड़ हैं आबादी से बहुत दूर हूँ मैं ये क्या हो रहा है स्टार्ट में ही यार ला खैर a sparkling cloud of mist lingers around him, spirits he suspects. First it travels in one direction, disappears and comes back to guide him towards the tunnel. 
और जो चीज भी ये देखिए अब ये देखिए मैं एक जगह पे खड़ा हुआ हूँ मैं बिल्कुल अपनी That's really weird, but some downright scary things are caught on camera when he goes to the entrance, like this red stain on the ground that shapes the outline of a person. कभी आ रही है। मैं एक जगह पे रुका हूँ। मसल्सल को ये सर सराहते हैं। Strange, unexplained lights give him pause, and you can say whatever you want about this freakishly deep laughter. Okay. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Okay. The fuck? Oh, those are lights. It's I thought those are eyes. The wind doesn't blow tires. He gets out of there fast, not wanting to face whatever is haunting this strange place. And when he takes one last glance at the entrance, he spies movement from above. Something wants to follow him home. After all of these scary moments, I would say yes, this tunnel is haunted. A channel called Gus Idris Official has officially creeped me out with this scary video. Is that all look? Fake. He's exploring an abandoned house in Bali, Indonesia, when a red robed figure is caught in his light in what could be a real ghost video. The strange figure is caught on camera mysteriously disappearing, but for a few moments, watch, 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 watch. or maybe so it's fake. simply stepping to the side, they run upstairs and oh, find a different figure waiting for them. This one in white, not red like before. That's when they decide it's time to set this ghost free. <laughs> According to local lore, untying the shroud is the only way to release the spirit from the earth. He does so, and this one seems to mysteriously disappear, just like the legends say. They continue exploring the abandoned haunted building for paranormal evidence, when suddenly a solid black orb flies at them and possibly goes into one of the investigators. What's caught next could be a paranormal takeover caught on tape. <laughs> It sounds pretty convincing, but his face looks dry at 34 minutes and 2 seconds, no visible tears, so he might not have really been crying. He a wasn't. small part of me wants to believe that this is a real ghost sighting that progressed into something even more terrifying, but it could just be good acting. Two friends find a giant spider in a cave and argue about how to properly put its size to scale. The spider here. There's a carabiner. Okay. So put your hand there. Um, I'm not putting my hand any closer. You can just bring the camera out. They are trying to use a piece of climbing equipment to illustrate how large it is. But since some people don't know how big that buckle is, one friend encourages the other to use his bare hand. Joe refuses, so it's up to his friend to do it himself. This is giving he slowly me anxiety. lowers his hand over the arachnid. If the shadow of his passes over it, and it's going to feel threatened and lunge forward to defend itself, he has only one word to say. Big. I'm not sure what kind of spider this is, but the striped markings on its legs seems to suggest that it could be venomous. It's a good thing he did impress his luck, because being stuck in a cave maze after getting dosed by one could easily spell his end. It's hard to say what size pizza this spider will fully grow into, but I wouldn't want to stick around and find out. I'd be out of that cave ASAP. A small cluster of weird deep sea creatures seem to be embedded inside a piece of coral that broke off and floated ashore. One of the yeah. creatures is still moving and seems to retreat from the camera upon getting sighted. I wonder what they look like out oh, of their coral freaky. encasement, probably even scarier. Anyway, no one has identified these unknown creatures in the comments, and the uploader of this video describes oh, them only as weird like creatures that. at the beach and leaves it at that. So let's help solve the mystery and figure out what these are. 
an adventurer from India goes exploring an abandoned house to see if it's really as haunted as they say. Within less than two minutes of entering the forsaken building, the explorer has his answer. <laughs> A heavy negative energy looms in the air. All the rooms look the same, even the last one, except it has something extra waiting inside. A figure stands in the corner and at 4 minutes and 25 seconds, a volley of ghost orbs seem to rush out of its silhouette frame upon being found. Orbs continue to dance all around as the figure inches towards with its head down. They continue for half a minute and only stop when the figure crosses into the next room. At no other point in the video do so many of these appear, only here when its presence is nearby. When he looks into the next room, the orbs have stopped and the figure is gone. The encounter is over, and he is left wondering the meaning of what he just saw. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next five seconds? <laughs> why does he sound like that when he be telling these stories? Like, he don't give no type of different emotion, no type of different, like, feeling when talking about these stories. It's just one, one tone, one, like, uh, I guess. But, um, some of these were not even, like, really believable especially that one i can't remember which number it placed but it was like the one with the little figures in the building or whatever and you could just tell you could tell that that shit was edited in if those are actual like people that are part of the project or part of the video that were standing there and it's just i hate when people like try to make scary videos and it's not even like convincing and it's just horrible editing and acting but yeah y'all that was my reaction to this video if you guys enjoyed my reaction please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next reaction video bye